Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to cover a lot of aspects. We're gonna start off first with blockchain NFT gaming, then we're gonna go over to Axie Infinity a little bit, and then we're gonna end it up with some crypto tidbits. So I hope you guys sit back and enjoy. Before we get started, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and hit subscribe to stay updated for future videos. You can also hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every single time that I upload. So games built on top of blockchain tech are becoming increasingly popular and can be a great way to provide extra supportive income. Now most of you guys know before I started doing clue videos or crypto based videos I was all about passive income. I made plenty of videos on finance and passive income. If you guys haven't seen them you can check out my playlist down below. You can also check out the one on screen right now. So basically most of these blockchain games are going to be powered by NFTs which are non-fungible tokens which are basically non-physical assets that exist on the blockchain. So NFTs can be very cost prohibitive to acquire. I'm talking hundreds if not thousands of dollars just for one NFT. And if you're talking about a game like Axie Infinity, you actually need three of them to have a team to even play and earn rewards in Axie Infinity. So because of this, Clue has basically established a system for play to earn gaming that helps lower the barriers to access for newbies so that they can actually get into this ecosystem and enjoy it for themselves. So this basically is going to allow you to join and earn NFTs and crypto while playing popular blockchain based games. So gaming with the community is meant to be fun and engaging. This is really just one more reason why Clue is so different from all the other different crypto communities out there. So now we're going to talk about Axie Infinity a little bit. So Axie Infinity is a NFT based card game, sort of like Pokemon and Hearthstone put into one. So I talked about it a little bit in my last video, but this time I want to go into more detail because Axie Infinity is huge and it's truly changing the landscape for not only NFT based games, but crypto in general. So if you've heard the term Axie Scholarship in the past, you might have been a little bit confused. But scholarships in the NFT space have absolutely nothing to do with schooling and everything to do with providing someone with the means to use a piece of technology. So like I said, NFT games can be very expensive to start out on. Clue is happy to sponsor applicants with their own first three axes to play as long as they are able to meet the minimum requirements each month. Now these requirements are not hard to get. It's only 500 SLP a week or 2000 SLP a month. Now I'm going to break it down for you guys so you can see exactly how you earn SLP and how you play Axie Infinity. I talked to you guys about the minimum that you need, which is going to be 2000 SLP a month. That actually equals out to roughly 760 US dollars a month that you can earn from gaming. And that's from doing the bare minimum. So like I said, you can earn thousands of dollars a month just from playing this game if you do more than the bare minimum. And most people have some extra time, one hour, two hours a day here and there. You're going to earn a lot of money just from sinking a little bit of time into a video game. So I've made my case for why Axie Infinity is a viable source of income, but what makes Axie worth playing? Well, like I said, all you have to do is play one, maybe two hours a day if the servers are working properly. Right now, Axie is in alpha, which means the game is not incredibly stable. It is still early on and early in its development. Axie is super popular around the world, especially in lower income countries like the Philippines. The Philippines has one of the largest player bases for Axie Infinity, and it is truly incredible to see what the Philippines is able to do with Axie. Gamers over in the Philippines are able to earn more playing Axie Infinity than they are actually earning from their real world jobs. I'm talking nurses, firefighters, even sometimes people like doctors aren't earning enough money to even live in their own country. But Axie Infinity, being a video game, is providing people with enough money not only to live from their regular job, but to have extra money and extra income. That's truly something incredible that hasn't been explored at all in recent times or in the past from anything I can remember. So how does Axie Infinity work? Players basically earn SLP or Smooth Love Potions from completing battles and quests. So if you get your 10 adventure wins each day and your 5 arena wins, wins each day, that's going to equal out about 150 SLP, which is the minimum that you need to stay a Clue Axie Scholar. Now, like I said, 150 a day, that can get you well over 500 a week, 2000 a month, you can do a lot of SLP in a month just from playing a few hours. So from your daily quest on Axie, if you complete that, you're going to get 50 SLP for free. That can go for about 20, maybe even $30 at times. So players can earn between 1 to 20 SLP per game when they're playing in adventure mode. And in arena mode, you can earn 1 to 12 SLP per game as well. You earn even more SLP for the higher up matchmaking rank you have. So if you have a really good team and you're really good at PvP, you can earn a lot of money just from playing against head to head people. So the problem with Axie Infinity is going to be the NFTs or how expensive it is to get one Axie. About a month ago, one Axie would cost you roughly $100. 
Well, now that same exact Axie is going to go for about $350 to $400. So you can see within the span of a month, the space has really heated up. So one team of three axes can cost you between $1,000 to $1,500. So it can be very cost prohibitive just going off of that chart right there. But Clue Scholars are given three axes to start with. All you have to do is pay your monthly stipend each month, which is going to be between 30% to 20% of your earnings. So guys, I hope this video has helped clear up everything between Axie Infinity and ClueCoin. Hope you guys all had an amazing time watching this video. If you enjoyed, slap that like button, show it a good time, hit subscribe, stay updated for everything you guys want to know, and I'll see you all in the next episode.